colleagues, let me also add a few words in my national capacity. India's intellectual heritage and prowess in science and engineering, combined with the tradition of innovation with sustainability, is well known to many of you. India has been an incubator for scientific inquiry in architecture, astronomy, mathematics, medicine, metallurgy, town planning, textiles, etc. Since 1947, when we became independent, India's pursuit of development has been supported by strong scientific rigor and practical application. I will just mention to you that we were ranked number 81 in the Global Innovation Index in 2015, but leapt to 40 in 2022. And today, India is in the top three among countries around the world for PhD qualifications and startups. India's constitution also encourages a scientific temper, humanism, and a spirit of inquiry and reform. Going forward, we are acutely conscious that to become a developed economy with a uniformly high standard of living requires investing heavily in science and an R&D process that takes science from the laboratory to the people. As the Indian Prime Minister has previously stated, and I shall paraphrase, the efforts of science can bear fruit only when they go from labs to land. But scientific advancements alone are not enough, as we can all appreciate. Meaningful development requires the cooperation of member nations so that experiences and breakthroughs in science and technology can be shared with each other. As the G20 presidency, the same scientific approach runs through the veins of each of our priorities. The Science Engagement Group, S20, brings together the scientific community with the theme Disruptive Science for Innovative and Sustainable Development, focusing on three issues, universal holistic health, clean energy for a greener future, and connecting science to society and culture. Dear colleagues, I have the privilege of inviting all member states to join the group of Friends of Science for Action. We will be sending out more information with contact points for this group in the coming days. I thank you for your attention, and I have the honor to pass on the baton to Ambassador Kridelka.